Tonight, many truck drivers are blocked on British motorways due to the COVID situation. And I really so feel sorry for you guys. I mean, I can't change the situation, neither can you. But what I can do is help you with my expertise so that you stay healthy when the situation unblocks. Bear in mind that, okay, right now you can't do anything. The only thing you can do is make sure that you're healthy and fit when you can start your truck again and drive back to your destination. So my goal with this video is to tell you how you can, well, best use the next 24 to 48 hours so that, you know, your back, your neck, your legs don't suffer too much from this difficult period. I just forgot to introduce myself. I'm Olivier Girard. I'm an economist, a posture therapist, the author of the posture manual and the creator of the 10 weeks online back saving program. So my job is in Switzerland to train you guys uh, in the prevention of your health in normal daily situations when there's no crisis like tonight. So let's look at the four positions that you can take in your truck. You can be sitting, you can be standing, you can be walking or you can be lying down. Of course, not only in your truck, but also around your truck. Well, tonight it's 9 p.m. here. I'm shooting this video and I will edit it during the, well, the night so that uh, you can view it ASAP. So, of course, I don't have a truck just next to me. So I'll use my office chair to show you what you can do. Let's first look at setting. The impact of sitting on your health is twofold, I would say. On the one hand, sitting increases the pressure in your back and this is what creates, for example, dyspneas in people who um, drive for long hours. On the other hand, sitting shortens the muscle that's called the iliopsoas, which attaches to your spine uh, and to the pelvis and it's a muscle that is involved in this position. So, you know, the pain of the iliopsoas muscle, which you can see in this video, is, say, known as the truck driver pain. So one thing that you need to really understand is that ideally, especially now that your trucks are, are, are not moving, you should not sit for more than 30 minutes in a row. Yeah, this is mainly due to the pressure that gravity exerts on your back when you're sitting like I'm now. So, of course, you can be reclining in the truck, but observe when you recline that your line of sight goes upwards in this direction. So this is more relaxing for your back tissues, but this position is not compatible with, well, watching this video, for example, which would put your head very much forward. So when you are in this position, it's for relaxing, it's for uh, talking on a hand free, and it's for thinking, it's for listening to music, it's for taking a nap. As soon as you want to watch your tablet, your computer, your wider, well, just make sure that the backrest is supporting your lower back in a more upright position again. Pressure in the lower back will be increasing after just 30 minutes of constant sitting. Therefore, my advice is, well, stand up at least twice an hour. When you stand up, your goal should be to decompress your back on the one hand and to stretch the iliopsoas muscle on the other hand. Yeah? The official stretch of the iliopsoas muscle is done lying down. So now I will show you the, the, the standing version of it. But let's start with the relaxation. Yeah? The relaxation of the back goes like this. You flex forward, no need to bend forward too low, and you, know, you just go like this. Do that really, I mean, it doesn't need to be long, it needs to be relaxed and frequent. The full relaxation routine is shown in this video, but this is the part in which you're decompressing your back. So basically, like this. Now let's see how we can stretch the iliopsoas. To stretch the iliopsoas, you have two different solutions. Either you lean on your truck and you let your leg go down like this, or you lean on your truck, you bring one foot back, flat on the ground, and you bend to the other side. Now the third position, which is, say, allowable in this very special context is walking. I understand that you might want to walk only around your truck to make sure that nothing happens 
to the, to the load, but you know, walking is the only way to reduce the swelling of your legs. So really, you know, alternating between sitting and standing will not be enough. Please walk, have short walks, regular walks, every hour at least. Make sure that you go say five times around your truck and that thereby you activate the blood circulation in your legs. Your last alternative is to lie down. Lie down is great because somehow there's no gravity, so to say. And lying down, you can also do a lot of exercises. I mean, many exercises are not, say, compatible with the uh, room clearance that you have with respect to the ceiling. But I'll show you at least a lower, a lower back stretch that can, um, that can help you. Lying down, though, should not be done when you um, use your mobile phone or something otherwise you will either twist your back or have your head forward and you know headaches and neck pain will not help you and uh, drive your truck to the destination in 24 48 maybe 72 hours let's just look at the lying down lower back stretch it's actually a fairly simple stretch uh, which you probably all know but it's very effective provided that you keep it for long enough so what i suggest is in your truck just bring your knees in the direction of your chest, make sure that your lower legs are horizontal and you just stay there like this, you know, you can use a small pillow if you like, but you know, this is feasible for you, there's enough clearance uh, here above your, uh, your thighs and that is one actually very good, uh, say, elongation exercise for, for your lower back. So it helps reducing the effect of prolonged setting. To conclude, I'd like to apologize for the low animation quality on this video. I, I edited it super quickly right after dinner, uh, letting my wife uh, put the, the baby uh, in bed to uh, provide you with a quick video that you can use right now <laughs> before the traffic jam is over. Uh, well, of course, it's going to be useful for the rest of your uh, hopefully long career. But uh, to, 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 let's say, answer all the, the remaining questions that you may have, uh, let's uh, try and meet on Wednesday, the day after tomorrow, Wednesday the 23rd of December at 3 p.m. Central European time, so Geneva time, Paris time, and I will answer to all the questions that you may have on your back, your neck, your shoulders and the pain that you can feel. Of course, this invitation is open to all, all people who are not truck drivers. These are topics of interest for us all.